everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel it's been a minute it's been quite a couple probably actually a few weeks since i last recorded any videos let's do a quick catch up before we actually get into the theme around this video which is a realistic week in my life of reading as a girly who works nine to five quick recap beginning of march i fell into a reading slump and I just could not for the life of me get myself to read. And I think a lot of people actually, like a lot of my friends, a lot of YouTubers that I watch, everyone was in a reading slump. It was really weird. I didn't read any books basically until mid-March. So I had all of these video ideas and none of them came to fruition. So I had nothing to upload. Then my boyfriend and I went on a little bit of a spontaneous trip to Mexico. I just came back from Mexico two nights ago. I have a little bit of a tan, not really, but my hair is a lot more lighter than it was a week ago. I feel like that trip got me out of my reading slump. I read three books while I was there, one of them being The Winners by Frederick Bachman. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my reaction. I sobbed sobbed the entire book but especially like the last 80 to 100 pages straight sobbing with my sunglasses on under a hut at the beach it was delightful but here we are it is easter weekend it's actually friday so i'm off work and so i wanted to start the vlog here because we'll get a couple of weekend days in and then also my return back to work after vacation so starting off today it is now 11 48 it's almost noon and this morning i went to pilates at 7 a.m it was my first workout class after being on vacation and not working out for like a week and a half that was really awful uh <laughs> and then i came home and basically chilled on the couch with my coffee and finished the cheat sheet. I adored this book, my god. But this morning, I read from page 224 to the end of the book, so that was 89 pages. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm gonna rate this yet. I don't think it's five stars, but it's pretty darn close, so we'll see after I sit with my thoughts for a bit. But this is a best friends to lovers and fake dating romance. It is pretty much closed door spice. So there's just a lot of angst and like little subtle touches throughout the whole book. It is so, so good. I loved it, adorable. And it's between a football player and kind of an ex ballerina and they were best friends since high school it's very quirky and cheesy too so it could be a little cringy for some people but i loved it i feel like sarah adams her books have that like hint of quirkiness that kind of makes you cringe but also once you get used to it you start liking it because i felt the same with even her when in rome series and now i need to start a new book and i think i know what i'm gonna start I think we're going to start When We Were Orphans by Kazuo Ishiguro. I brought this with me to Mexico, but I was not able to actually read it. And I even have like my tabs in here that I was gonna use for it. I believe it's on my 24 in 2024, and I don't know. I just feel a little pulled towards it. I really wanted to pick up another Ishiguro book after reading this one, Never Let Me Go. That was such a fantastic book. I believe I gave it five stars. This book is, it's, I know it's about an orphan. So his name is Christopher Banks. He was born in Shanghai. He lived there until the disappearances of his father and mother. Now, more than 20 years after leaving Shanghai, Banks is a renowned detective and celebrated figure in London society. He travels back to Shanghai to basically try and figure out what happened to his parents. We will get going with this. I won't start reading now because I still have a load of unpacking and cleaning to do since we came back from vacation. So that's what today is for. But we will probably crack on with this tonight and see how much we can read. So far, 89 pages. Let's see how much we can read by the end of the day. I'll probably update you 
tomorrow. Good afternoon. It's, I don't have my watch on. It is 12.48. It's Sunday. So I wanted to do a little reading check-in. I actually did not really read much after we talked yesterday. I did start when we were orphans right before bed. I don't know if that was a great idea. It was really hard for me to focus. And I got to page 12. I'm not that into it, but I think it was not a good time to start the book. So I'm kind of not excited to continue, but I think I'll give it like 50 pages. And if I'm still not into it, I will just put it down, read something else, and then come back to this book at a later date. So the total page count yesterday, 101. <laughs> pages uh yesterday so that's pretty good did i say it's sunday it's saturday i think i said it was sunday still kind of unpacking and getting all that stuff sorted from vacation i went to yoga this morning and one of my favorite yoga instructors came back from being in costa rica for three months and my whole body is so freaking sore and tonight i'm going to the olivia rodrigo concert with my friend so don't know how much we're gonna read today I've got to put away a bunch of laundry, cook some lunch, get ready for this concert, and I'm not sure when we're going to leave, but we're going for dinner before the concert. So I think I realistically only have like four-ish hours before I have to leave. Possibly I'll listen to an audiobook. Let me see what audiobooks I have on hand. Uh, oh, I really don't have any audiobooks right now. I have The Count of Monte Cristo, which I haven't started yet. Oh, I wonder if we can get the audiobook for when we were orphans. I can get it. Okay, we'll borrow this. So we'll do that and then maybe we will continue that and see if that kind of helps me get into the book. You know, the initial hump of learning about a whole new atmosphere and world and then we'll see. And Sugar's here with me. Look at this baby. Hi friends, a little bit of an update. It's now Monday, definitely not the weekend, and I wish I would have a better update for you all on how much I've read this weekend, but I don't. So we'll quickly go over that. On Saturday, I ended up reading six pages of When We Were Orphans and then decided, you know what, this isn't the book for me right now. So I put it down and I picked up a romance. So I picked up Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monaghan. I read Nora Goes Off Script by her last year and loved it. So I said, you know what, let's try this one. So on Saturday, I read 12 pages of that. And yesterday night, I read 18. It was a busy weekend because Easter. But yeah, that's all I've read. So it's been quite a disappointing weekend but it's the week now. I'll probably do this vlog until Friday so we get like a full week. So let's see how many pages I can get to today. I'm going to continue with same time next summer and hope for the best. Right now there's really not much but this is a ex-lover's romance I believe. This woman basically goes back to her hometown summer house hometown with her fiance, but then her ex from high school is there and she hasn't seen him since he broke her heart in high school when she was 16 and now she's 30. So he literally just entered the picture again. So what, on page like 30-ish? So that's exciting. His name's Wyatt. What a, what a book name. That's my little update. I hope we can read some more after work because I haven't read anything today and today is my first day back at work. Um, after vacation, so quite a bit to catch up on. It's kind of crazy today, but I'm hoping we can rest tonight. And tomorrow I'm going in office, so I don't know how much I will be able to record tomorrow. Typically in my in-office days, I kind of relax more in the evening, so I think we'll get some reading in. Hope you guys had a good Easter weekend and April Fool's Day today. It's also Schmingus Dingus if you are Polish, and I think... Ukrainian and all of those kind of Slavic regions. So kind of funny that it lands on April Fool's Day because it is literally like a prank day. It's been so long, you've been so tough, you've kept it up, you've kept me up.
Been standing tall, keeping strong, and I'm doing well. I'm eating more, and oh, you might think that you're fine. You need someone, and oh. Friday, my battery is dying, so we're gonna do this speed round. I'm currently cooking, making some lentil soup, but I wanted to give an update. So, Wednesday, I read, I believe, 12 pages, and that's it, of will they or won't they. I had a day on Wednesday, and I was not in the mood to read, so I literally read the 12 pages before I fell asleep, and that's it. But yesterday, Thursday, was a much better day. I got to page 140, chapter 12, and so I believe that was like around 106 pages that I read. It's Friday now. I don't have many thoughts about this book. It's okay. They're both kind of annoying, and you slowly get to know their history together and the reason why they are on such bad terms. I thought it was what it ended up being, but I was like, we didn't need like 70 pages of suspense to figure this out. Like it was pretty obvious. So yeah, it's okay so far. Lila's a little bit of an annoying <laughs> main female character. Like girly just has trust issues and Shane is, is okay. I don't know. I'm feeling meh about this. I don't know if it's because I've been reading it while I've been having a meh week or if it's just the book. But yeah, that's my little update. Hopefully tonight we'll get to read a little bit more. I do want to end this off finishing this book, but I don't think I'm going to read 300 pages tonight because I have quite a bit of things to do today after work, but we'll see. I think this week so far we've read, I don't know, maybe around 300-ish pages. I'll have to go back and calculate, which honestly is pretty good <laughs> based on the slump I went through last month, I think I'm slowly getting back to my typical reading amount, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna get back to cooking. Hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you all maybe later tonight or sometime this weekend to wrap this video up. All right, friends, it's time to wrap up this average week in my life of reading vlog. Let's quickly go over what we read, how much we read, and how much I ended up reading in the last week. So we went from March 29th to April 5th. I just have my reading journal here in front of me. So on the 29th, we were reading and finishing the cheat sheet. I read 96 pages of that. And then we tried starting When We Are Orphans. Emphasis on tried. We read 12 pages of that. So a total of 100 and some odd pages. Then the 30th, which was a Saturday, we only read 18 pages. Six of When We Were Orphans and 12 of Same Time Next Summer, which I happen to have right here. And then on the 31st, on the Sunday, we only read 18 pages. So not looking good here. Not looking good, especially for the weekend. Albeit, it was a very busy weekend. Then on the 1st, we read 91 pages of Same Time Next Summer. On the second, we read 167 pages and finished same time next summer. And then I also started Will They or Won't They and read 22 pages of this. Then on the third, I think I, I told you all, I had a really bad day. So I only read 12 pages. And then the fourth, I read 106 pages, you know, getting there, getting better. And then on my last update, which was Friday, I read 76 pages of Will They or Won't They. Didn't finish this by the end of the week and I literally still haven't finished it, but I am close. I've got like 20 pages left. So overall, if I did my math right, I read 618 pages total. So it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that great either. I still think I'm in a slump and so I'm going to continue to see and figure out ways for me to get out of this reading slump. It's not that I don't want to read, it's that I just don't really have the motivation to. And I don't know, there's just something that is keeping me from reading when reading is like 
one of my primary sources of happiness in life. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that was a pretty average week in my life of reading. Not that great, but some days were pretty good. It was a busy weekend, um, but a pretty chill week. So I think it balanced the numbers out. But I did finish, I guess, two and a half books in the week. So that's pretty average. They were two really small romances, but a win is a win. Thank you all for spending the week with me. Let me know how your average week of reading goes, especially if you are someone who is quite busy working, studying, doing all the things, living. I hope you all have a wonderful day ahead and I hope to see you all in my next video very, very soon. Happy reading, bye. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us.